Hi guys, this is the Recash 2009 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the screen flow effects on Camtasia Studio Sim. Okay, I do not guarantee you that you will get 100% satisfactory, but it works. I'm just going to let you guys know how to do it. So let's get it started on with this tutorial. Okay, so let's open up Camtasia Studio here, and well, basically, first thing you need is um. Camtasia Studio 7.1 which can be found at the website okay at textmed.com okay and then you click on Camtasia Studio 7.1 you can either download the free trial or buy it on uh, my website has the free version the full version of it with the keys included in a winrar file and so when you open it up you just import your media and um let's go back here and it must be in a camtasia recording file as you can see here uh recording document there okay so test and you need to drag it to the timeline <coughs> just press ok then come to tools options zoom and put this to about like instant i think max does the zoom in instant with the circle around it and then come to the zoom in pan here and click apply focus to timeline smart focus to timeline press yes ok so now basically you want to click on cursor effects and let the video play Okay, so where you want it, where you're gonna be typing, zoom in pan should be right in, like there. Mark makes it, mark make it look like that, sort of close. And then come to the cursor effects, click on add keyframe, select the highlight effect, the spotlight. Um, you can drop down the menu there to increase the size. Okay, um, mark does that about there, so I think. The opacity of it, I think it's like that. The blur, a little bit, and then I don't think that mark gives it a soft edge. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna leave it at 5.0. And then after that, you just wherever you need to stop the um, the spotlight effect, just click back on Add Keyframe. Take off the spotlight, put it to none. Take the zoom in pan, and the zoom in pan should automatically move to wherever it needs to go. Okay, just now the zoom in pan needs to come up here. And then press play again, come back down, and come to the cursor effects, add keyframe, spotlight. And you need to do back the same settings here. So the size, the opacity of it, and the blur. The opacity should go down a little more. And just press play until you're finished using it there. And then you need to um, take off the spotlight by adding the next keyframe. And then press play again and so now from basically from the beginning now it should look something like this and, um, if you need to adjust it you just drag the keyframes they are in red so the keyframe there so it zooms in and does it at once takes them off zooms up there there again so the keyframe here is also a little in front so let's try back that again it looks kind of like it but it's not 100% like it so um, well that's basically it okay well guys thanks for watching please read comment and subscribe if you like this video thumbs up okay well thanks for watching bye Thank you.